So, courtesy of the Royal Mail, we got something really cool from London that we did not know would help us out when we go to London. We didn't actually see it until we watched videos and videos and videos because we want to make our trip perfect, like I'm sure you do. But this is something you have to get before you leave, and it's supposed to make your life so much easier when you get to England. Um, there's actually a lot of things that we didn't know was going to make our life a lot easier before we went to England. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today, just kind of how we plan our trip. And maybe it'll make life easier on you too, but I look kind of rough this morning. So we're going to have to, I'm going to get dressed, grab Tiffany, and we're going to talk about what this is and some other tips because you're going to want to see this. All right, guys, hit the like button. Let's go. Okay, that took a lot longer than what I thought it was going to take. Uh, as soon as I walked through the door, we, uh, this is probably about two weeks after I filmed that, uh, everybody came down with a stomach virus and it was pretty terrible. Uh, so it was a very long transition that felt like a second. We was hoping to put out more stuff, but we are going to England and it's pretty exciting. We've never been out of the country. And if you're a person who's never been out of the country and you kind of want a, a kind of an idea of what it's like to go through that process to get everything going, I want to go through that with you today. This is awesome. We got a few topics to cover. The first thing I want to cover is a passport. Then we're going to talk about why we picked England. We're going to talk about, uh, what airlines we were using, uh, how much we paid. Uh, I'm sure you probably want to know that. Some tips and stuff that we picked up learning different things. If you're one to learn and you're watching this, so I hope you're one to learn or you're probably are learning something like about stomach viruses. But uh, I wanted to go over the very first thing that I wanted to go over is your passport. Okay. We did not know nothing about a passport. And I realistically, I wish we could go back and get our passports, uh, get our passports much earlier because it wasn't that big of a process. It seemed like a big process in our head, but it wasn't that big of a process. You go, uh, to the government site for your, uh, for your, uh, passport, you fill out all the paperwork, very simple, unless you're a convicted felon, then it's not as simple. Uh, then we went to Walgreens. I think it cost us maybe like 10, $15 for them to take our picture. And once we did that, we had to make an appointment. And that was a weird thing because some, you, you make, make your appointment at post office, uh, United States post office. That's where we did it. There was things that you could have done to make it faster, but we'll get to that. Uh, you made your appointment to the post office and we was like really freaked out because we, you know, we're thinking immigration, whatever, this is going to kind of be crazy. But when we actually got there, it was pretty pleasant. We had to bring our birth certificate, our social security cards. It was just me and Tiffany. We didn't get them for the kids. Um, it cost $150 there. They also asked us if we wanted a little card, which is like basically like a quick visa ID thing that for Canada and Mexico. We didn't buy that because we figured you had your passport. Just bring your passport. Uh, they said it was going to take like eight to nine weeks. Uh, I don't think it took that long. It kind of flipped over pretty fast. There is ways to get it faster. I know there's some places down in Miami and stuff that express, but between me and Tiffany, I think the whole thing, we may have had $350 in the whole thing. And for that express, you're probably looking somewhere around 400 to 500 each, excluding the picture. So probably a lot cheaper just to go through, especially if you're not in a rush to go somewhere, you just want to get it. Just go to the post office and get your... Uh, get your uh passport it's it's not not that hard and it seems a lot more intimidating than what it is it's just some it's not a lot of paperwork so go get that the next is why did we choose england we felt like england was going to be the perfect place to start our journey around the world hopefully uh we're not becoming full-time travel vloggers if you want that check out when he travels they're very good at it I will post a link to their stuff down here. But we have a family and we have a life here. And, you know, we like to maybe get out once a year and hopefully this is a start. But the reason we chose London is just a place to get our feet wet. And everybody speaks English. It's not going to be too different from America when it comes to uh, language, but it's going to be different in the culture and 
food and stuff like that. So we also have family over there and we have, you know, kind of like a safety net and that just seems comfortable enough. Uh, the real reason is, is Norse Airlines. Norse Airlines, check and see if they fly out of your airport in uh, pretty much any city. I know they fly out of New York, Miami, and Orlando. They are very reasonable uh, for, they get you on the return flight, but still overall, it's pretty reasonable. Me and Tiffany, we're gonna fly, um, our tickets cost for both of us 1800 bucks, but we upgraded the tickets to um, the the first go in there, we upgraded it to the upper class. It's not first class, it's just like a boost on it. So it was 1800 bucks for all of that. And that was pretty fair, but they had, you know, for Miami, they fly out of Paris and it says on, on it like $159 from Miami to Paris. And it included, um, your travel bag under, under 50 pounds and then your carry on and then a personal item, which, you know, we'll bring the camera equipment so we can bring you guys along with us to see how bad we fell in another country. So that will be very exciting, but check into that. There's some of the flights right now are pretty reasonable and that being a thing uh, was the reason we chose. We just kind of researched the flight, seeing what was best for us. Um, the next thing that we did was research a hotel and this is kind of where I got a break. Um, I've been dabbing a little bit in credit cards, but I am not a credit card junkie by no means. I don't know really how to do it. I just pay for it and build up points. And I had some points, not enough to pay for the hotel room. We are, pay we are staying in central London. I use the capital one portal to book our hotel room and I think through the whole thing, we um, we we paid somewhere around fifteen hundred bucks, but it was closer to eighteen, nineteen hundred bucks, and that's for seven nights. Uh, one of the things that bought not only the airplane price up, but also the and you guys might call me a sucker for doing this. I don't know, but it brought the airplane ticket price up, and it also brought the room price up was I paid for insurance because we have two kids and the thing about the insurance was if something was to come up one of our boys got sick or something we could back out and you know not lose major amounts of money so I thought that was pretty smart so you probably want to look into that I don't know how much that's a refundable policy or whatever but they basically all these said is right up to the day you can just cancel and that's something when you have two young kids that you definitely need to keep in mind. So we paid extra for that, which brought the price up for both of those things. So they probably would have been a little cheaper if we didn't, but we kind of need it because we never know what tomorrow holds for us. Uh, we've never been outside the country and, you know, we're pretty freaked out. We're going to London, you know, we're going to England and it's, we, we got some really cool stuff. We, you know, a lot of the stuff that you guys probably see on Instagram and stuff, we're going to check out, but we are new. We don't know what to do or where to go, but doing research, if you're interested in going to London, a couple of things that we've realized, and this is a really cool app. My flashlight's on because I was looking for something. So one of the apps that we downloaded, I got way too many apps was called city mapper i don't know if you can see that or not city mapper right and city mapper just kind of gives you an idea of where to go i haven't really been able to mess with it that much to see what it is because it works off your gps and i'm in florida right now so it's like we can't help you because you know you're in florida um the other one that we did the other one that we downloaded is something called T T F. Let me get that in the frame here. T F L Go. That's that blue one. Now this one's a really cool app, and I've been kind of like planning, pre-planning, and I know it's going to be like really crazy because to get around London, you're going to need the tube, which is a subway. And basically, what this app does is you type in where you want to go, 
what do you want to see? And it basically gives you a map to say to go to this station, hop on and go. This is another one that works more into the, into the uh, London, you know, mark them where you're at and you say, hey, I want to go see the queen's house, the king's house, whatever is going on. I, I, I want to see one of them, one of them uh, pub things. I, I don't know. I've never been there. I'll be more educated when I get there. But you type it in here and it tells you where to go. And that's, that's pretty cool. I, I like that. So it helps you out. But the thing that I pulled out of the mail earlier was something really neat that we looked up. I mean, it was cool. It's cool to do before you go. Uh, that's this little thing right here by the Royal Mail. I just thought it was cool that we got something from the Royal Mail. But what it is, if I can get it open, if it's still in here, is called an Oyster card. See that? See that? It's an Oyster card. Now, this is for tourists. What this is for is tourists who's not good at using the tube. And it's basically a preloaded card that you order from the Department of Transportation of the Royal Department that transports stations. And you order that offline, preload with money. I loaded $40 on each, each of ours or $45. I had a cousin that went there. He said that that was a little too much. I don't know. It was talking about zones in each area and it costs. But some of the benefits from it is it caps you each day, so it's not going to overcharge you. Uh, there is some stuff that they try to rule you in, uh, like um, that you get discounts in certain places. But I looked up some of the discounts, and they was more like the M&M store and uh, Hard Rock Cafe and other, you know, places that's just solely England. And we can, you know, they don't have anywhere else that you would want to go to. I was hoping it was going to be the Tower of London or the, you know, the British History Museum or something like that, you know, get a discount and see a mummy. That'd be pretty cool, but it seemed like it was pretty just like casual things. So I I, I was hoping a little bit better, which I should have looked that up before, but it wasn't going to sway me away from buying that because I don't want to throw my credit card up, especially in today's time to buy tickets every five minutes. And that's another thing that we are doing too, moving into that. We are paying everything on credit cards. We are probably just only going to bring a few, maybe a couple of hundred dollars and convert it to pounds in case we get into a spot or go to a market that's cash only. Uh, but majority of the stuff, we're going to try to pay on credit cards. That way we don't get swindled or something that we can actually pull back on. I don't think the crime rate and stuff's any different in England than it is here. It's just... Obviously, we got travel credit cards. It works on travel points and it helps us out a lot more. If you want to see us, I really hope some of these tips helped you. If this is something, I, I, I want to explain something to you, right? I feel like the computer numbs us a little bit. Like you're, you're seeing me, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, content creator, whatever. And I'm going to my first country and it, it's so easy to blow me off and be like, well, you know, Karen Nate's been to 145 countries or this one, you know, this is an accomplishment in my life. This is so exciting that, you know, we, I, I didn't really come from like money, you know, but somehow we've made it to a point in our life that we've managed and the world's managed around us that I got to walk into my wife and say, honey, we're going to Europe. We're going to go to England. And it's so exciting. So don't let the, don't let YouTube or these things don't, don't live vicariously through them. Don't think that something's not a big deal because don't, if you bought a new car, don't think it's not awesome because Jake Paul got a Lamborghini. You don't know Jake Paul and Jake Paul don't you know you. I don't know Karen Nate. And at the end of the day, what I do in my life does nothing for you. I, I hope I can help you. I hope that I can teach you something or learn from my mistakes or help guide you on your journey. But just because I went to Disney World and I talk crap about Disney adults doesn't mean that you can't find satisfactory out of being a Disney adult. And we are getting ready to trip into the biggest adventure that we've had. So like and subscribe to follow along. We got one more video coming out. And then from then on, we have our London vlogs. So it makes you wonder. What are we going to trip into next?